All right, everyone. So Joe Mazzola went on the Pardon My Take podcast and made a major, major revelation about Game 4 of the NBA Finals and Kristaps Porzingis. Here's what he had to say. We would have used him in, like, one of four or five different situations. Like, so if, if there was a critical uh, jump ball, like, that we needed to win, like, there was a jump ball in our offensive possession, uh, we would have put him in. If there was an end-of-game situation where he had to guard the rim or, like, be over the ball to try to get a deflection, and yeah, like if we were winning, I would have put him in the game for a minute or two. And uh, just because you, like he, he sacrificed his whole career. Hank was right. He sacrificed his whole career to get to this point and to not be a part of it uh, would have just devastated him. And like he had a serious, serious injury and like he worked his ass off to get back. And like what he brought for us in game five was like unbelievable and, and really led to winning. And so like we have a guy in his career that's been through a lot and sacrificed a lot. Like, you want them to be a part of it. So, yeah, I would have used KP in game four uh, under those circumstances. So, it, it's nothing new for this show, but Hank was right, and uh, Max, our producer, the Sixers fan who got upset at Hank for saying that, was wrong. So, another loss for Max. So This is pretty interesting. I'm glad um, part of my take was able to get this out of him. I mean, I guess it's not really getting it out of him. It's nothing bad, but it's pretty awesome. You know, it would have been awesome to see Porzingis get in to – you know, in that game, but it worked out even better. Losing the game, game five, you're on your home floor. Porzingis played a pretty big part. I mean, he struggled in the beginning, but he really did, I think, get it together. And and I, and I think when you listen to this and you listen to what Missoula is saying and you remember watching the game and you listen to what Missoula says here, it really paints you the picture of what was going on inside of Kristaps Porzingis during this time, you know, and what was going through his head and the team. Because, you know, Porzingis for his whole career, really, you know, he's been viewed in a weird way. Because he, when he gets drafted, people are like, this guy may be able to lead the Knicks to a championship. You know, there's a lot of hype and, and everything like that. Due to his injuries, which aren't his fault, but he, he kind of gets it and just how he plays the game. You know, even though he's one of the tallest guys on the floor, he seems like he gets pushed around. Guys are always kind of taking... It seems shots at him when we're watching these games. It's like guys are just running full speed into him. So he's gotten kind of like a softer, you know, label, right? People, if you don't view him in the way you would view like a Shaquille O'Neal or a Joel Embiid, where these guys kind of just physically dominate you, he doesn't really get that, right? He's more, he kind of gets labeled as soft a little bit. And I think it's time, we can officially announce right here on this video, to put that away. To just say that's not true. Because... He battled. Not only did he battle all year, injury after injury, he came back, he battled. And watching him play in that final game, knowing, knowing, knowing 110% that he, knowing that he wasn't 100%, knowing he was hobbled and was going to need surgery is fantastic. And, you know, I think it's, I can't wait to see what the future is with Porzingis in Boston. I think he's fallen in love with the city. I think he's coming into his own as a player and really finding his spot here. And I think even more than that, there's always this weird thing. You know, you have some players who they suffer an injury and it really just ruins their whole career. But then you have these guys who have really nagging injuries and they're always hurt. And then there always just seems to be like this turning point in their career, like maybe for one or two seasons, you know, or maybe even three, where they're able to stay healthy. They're just, it's weird. You know, it doesn't mean they don't miss any games, but they just don't have those season ending injuries like they once did. And I really think looking forward to the next two years, I think that's what you're going to see from Kristaps Porzingis. I think you're going to see a Porzingis who's far healthier than he's been in prior years. Because even this year, I mean, he didn't have any season ending injuries technically, but he was injured. I, I would say if you, if you told us, you know, before the year, Porzingis was going to miss this amount of games. You, everybody would have said, yeah, that's what we expected. That isn't a good, that's not what the Celtics would have wanted, right? And I really do believe that over the next one or two years, he's going to be as healthy as he's been in his entire career. And I think that's going to bode well for the Boston Celtics. So thank you all for watching. We will see you next time.